Hi, I'm Linda. I created a company called Paint Along. Check us out at paintalong.com. We have really fun painting workshops in Nashville and New York. I'm going to tell you about some brush techniques today. We're going to use our one inch flat brush and we're going to do a crosshatch technique. I'm going to use two different colors of paint. I'll be using yellow and white. Starting with my yellow, I'm just going to start making these X patterns and come across the canvas with your X pattern. I'm also going to go to my white paint without washing my brush and put that into the yellow. And I'm using the same X pattern and you'll be able to see both colors of paint and they're just slightly blended on the canvas. And the next technique we'll be doing is a dry brush technique. To do a dry brush technique, you first have to start with a small amount of paint on your brush. And the idea is to use the paint and draw it out until there's nothing on the brush. And then you get a variegated line with your brush. I'll do it again for you. This brush is loaded with a small amount of paint, and then I'm just gonna drag it up until the paint ends all the way. This works really well when you're trying to layer your paint and get different techniques of shadowing and light. The next thing I'd like to show you is a liner brush and we use this for our details so I'm going to use the red paint to show you how I can do some small details with this liner brush. You can use this brush to create stems for flowers or to make a tree. And all you have to do is use a very light touch and let the branches get smaller and smaller as they come away from the trunk. The next brush technique I'd like to show you is one that we use for an abstract flower. This is a filbert brush and what we're going to do is we're just going to take this brush and we're going to do a dabbing technique. I'm loading it up fairly heavily with the paint and what I want to do is I'm just gonna press it into the canvas and make the petals of the flower. And that gives you an abstract flower. And those are our brush techniques.